All right, what's going on guys? Hopefully this you know recording is a lot more smooth than the last time I recorded with this camera. Changed some settings, hopefully it's a lot better now. But uh, yeah, today is gonna be the first episode of wherever this series is called. Hopefully it'll be something along the lines of like, road to show, road to whatever, in terms of bodybuilding. So I wanna do a bodybuilding show roughly a year from now, but obviously, you know, I'm not big enough yet. At least I don't think I am. Some people say that I'm big enough, but personally, I think I still need to add a few more like, you know, pounds to certain weak spots like my upper chest, my back, my legs, and overall just get more proportional and overall aesthetic. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be the first episode of whatever the series is called. I'll probably decide later in the video. But um, yeah, for the rest of the video, we're hitting legs. It's not gonna be fun, if I'm being honest. I'm not looking forward to hitting legs whatsoever because I'm pretty deep into the deficit at this point, eating 2,500 calories. Lowered it from 2,800 because I'm trying to get that next level of shreds, you know what I mean? I'm trying to get peeled, bro. I'm trying to get peeled. At this point, I'm mainly just trying to maintain my strength in the gym as much as I possibly can. I'm weighing 175 pounds eating around 250 grams of protein to try to maintain as much strength as possible. You know, having Gorilla Dream every single night, Gorilla Mind Smooth every day before a workout. I was having the Gorilla Mode post-workout to really help with um, replenishing glycogen after a workout, but I took that out because it's 200 calories, and like I said, I'm trying to get peeled, bro. So this is what we're looking like right now. Nothing insane, nothing insane, but you know, we're getting there, we're getting close. I'm roughly four or five pounds away from being the weight I want to be at and being fully shredded. I'm kind of bloated right now, so please don't attack me in the comments. Okay, I have pretty bad body dysmorphia right now, I'm not going to lie. I feel fat after every single meal because I wake up in the morning and I'm looking super peeled and I'm like, wow, I look crazy. Then I have one singular meal and it's like five pounds goes directly to my stomach. If you're cutting, I know you relate to this. I know you relate. There's no way I'm alone here. Also, from now on, I'm going to try to pump out at least one video every three to four days for you guys. Really gonna be taking it seriously from now on because YouTube is now my main focus. It was TikTok, but after recent shenanigans, I've realized that TikTok is very, very um, not trustworthy. As in, like, you can lose your platform within like quite literally one week if you get one or two community guideline violations. So I'm not a big fan of that whatsoever. So now focusing a lot more on YouTube, pumping out, like I said, at least one video every three to four days. All right, enough of me rambling. Time for the pre-workout meal. We're having just basic two beef patties, one singular slice of cheese split into, you know, two halves, put them on both of the beef patties, and 320 grams of potatoes. Look at them right here. They're going to be so delicious, I cannot wait. Potatoes are amazing. If you don't have potatoes every single day, you are missing out, I promise you. Have potatoes. You will not regret it. Your sleep will be better. Your quality of life will be better because your taste buds will be happier. Life is better with potatoes. Start eating them, please. We're hitting legs today with a roommate, Colton Gibbs. Everyone say hi to Colton. What's going on, fellas? We're hitting legs. It's not going to be fun, but it's we're excited. Fun. He's just in a bad mood because he hates legs. No, it's because <laughs> of the fact that he's, you know, he's bulking now or main gaining. So he's on more calories than me. He's eating like close to 3,000. I'm still at 2,500, so it's not going to be fun. All right, just finished my meal. Now it's time for my 10 minute walks that I do after every single meal. Then after that, I'm going to come back, take my glycerol, my pre-workout, my Gorilla Mind Smooth, my oxyracetam and it's a lot of supplements you don't need any of them but a lot of them do help if you use gorilla mine products use good casein please helps me out a ton but uh, yeah then after that we're gonna head to the gym and hit some legs and hopefully have a good workout hopefully actually no 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 screw that we're gonna have a good workout we're gonna have a good workout i'm telling myself that right now we're gonna have a good workout we're gonna maintain most of our strength have a good leg pump and we're gonna see two new quad veins i'm just gonna randomly assume that hopefully manifest it to reality. All right, just get back from the walk. Now it's time to take our glycerol and our pre-workout. Take the glycerol first to make sure it fully hydrates you. And I take it normally about 30 minutes before the gym. It's currently 6.30, so aiming to be at the gym around seven o'clock. And I'm taking two scoops of the mode today because I want to feel very, very energized and very ready to hit this leg day. I feel pretty good energy levels wise. I just want to make sure I have a good workout and you know, look juicy for you guys. So we're hitting legs and legs are by far my weakest body part proportionally compared to everything else. So definitely need to make them up on this upcoming bulk. I think I fully decided the series name will be called Becoming a Bodybuilder. This will be episode one. And like I said, I have no idea when the series will end. It could end in 30 episodes, could end in 15, could end in 100. I just know it's gonna be my series on becoming more aesthetic, fixing weak body parts, and slowly becoming a bodybuilder. And once I set up for my actual first show, I'll probably end this series and make a new one called Road to First Show. But so yeah, until then, we're gonna be focusing on getting more aesthetic and becoming a bodybuilder. It's the whole point of this, you know, series. So stay tuned, guys. So, Casey Granger, what are we making today? 
Uh, I already told them we're making our glycerol I'm right making now. Glycerol. Not making. Fucking <laughs> drinking glycerol. <laughs> Taking it 30 minutes before the gym to hyperhydrate our muscles, get lots of water cells fluctuating within our joints, our muscles, and overall just feeling very optimal and liquidy. If that makes sense. That's right. If you want to be body build, you must if you want to, if you want to be body build, you must train like body build. That's what the series will be, is becoming body build. We're gonna be practicing all the acts that bodybuilders do and applying it into our real life. I've already been doing that for the last like year of my life, but this time it'll be on camera. So it'll actually be like, you know, we're gonna be together, me and you. It's gonna we're gonna, gonna be get like, huge. We're gonna, be, we're gonna get huge, bro. We're gonna get huge. We're gonna get <laughs> all right, we're getting ready to go to the gym now. Taking my Gorilla Mode AR, Rhodiola Rosea, HMB, and my two scoops of mode, okay? Do you need all those things? Like I said, no you do not, but they do help, okay? I'm an advocate for natural supplements that help you build more muscle, retain your muscle, etc. without affecting your hormones, okay? I'm in the in-between where I'm not, you know, going to take gear or anything, but I'm also, you know, taking plenty of supplements to make sure that I'm fully optimal. I'm in that kind of in-between state. And I'm on Sigma, so I'm Sigma as fuck. Sigma male. I'm on Sigma. Actually though, ever since I started taking it, like four caps a day, every single day, my sex drive has been through the roof, even though I'm pretty freaking lean right now. So if you wanna, you know, have your sex drive be increased while you're cutting especially, which is, that's what you want when you're cutting, then hop on it, bruh. Count has been drank, on to hit legs we go. Hope you guys are excited as I am. We're gonna fake the excitement until we're actually there. Hopefully it'll be a fun workout. Time for where, pit stop. Where the hose at? Oh, no. Where the hose at, bro? <laughs> where the hose at? <laughs> PUA time. Go <laughs> get it, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna walk over there and be like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> my, my name is Jeremy. Nice to meet you. 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 Nice we're gonna do that for like seven to eight minutes, three times a week. I'm gonna get tan, bro. I'm gonna get tan and I'm gonna get leaner. We're gonna be handsome, okay? It's gonna be a revolution. If you've been following me ever since I was peak bulk, 204 pounds, you've seen me be like extremely ugly. Okay, it's the truth of it. You've seen me be down horrendous in terms of traction levels, in terms of, that was so loud, bro. Your truck does not make you get bitches. You've seen me be 204 pounds. You've seen me be 175 pounds, which is what I'm currently. You've seen me go from being pale, bad haircut, you know, being fat and ugly, not fat and ugly, bulked up, but now I'm, you know, living life. Golden hour. Life is good, bro. So he has to go pee, so he's going to do that real quick, but it's it's freaking beautiful out here, bro. I feel beautiful, so I'm gonna record the little intro before we go hit legs, because I'm not fully stimulated yet. It's gonna be fun, though. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're at Tiger Iron Gym, the iron mecca of bodybuilding in Auburn, Alabama. I'm so excited. I'm actually pretty energized right now, so I'm kind of ready to hit some legs, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be fun. It's not gonna be anywhere near as beautiful as this whenever we walk out, so uh, yeah.
I'm not going to bother recording calves simply because calves are boring. We do hit them, but it's only one exercise and like four sets, so it's pretty boring. But uh, yeah, that's basically the end of the workout. We're going to hit abs and go to the ab room in a little bit. I'll talk a little bit more there. But uh, yeah, this has been a fun vlog. But yeah, I'm focusing on YouTube and Instagram a lot more than TikTok now simply because TikTok is simply just, you know, not reliable whatsoever. So focusing a lot more on YouTube, posting once every three days. So go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. And let me know if you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see longer videos, shorter videos, more meals of what I eat, more training videos, more of just me talking to the camera. Whatever you guys want is what I will try to produce as much of. All right, so we're hitting abs pretty hard right now. Normally we don't hit abs hard whatsoever, but we're trying to get lean, okay? We're trying to get lean and have insanely good abs. We're looking pretty crazy right now. Ah, they're coming in bro, they're coming in. I'm just doing some basic crunches for like four sets. Not gonna record it because hitting abs and recording it is pretty boring. But that's all I'm doing to mainly hit the top abs more, try to get them to pop more, as well as getting tan, as well as getting leaner, okay? That's three compounding factors that are all gonna be combining all at once to help me look more aesthetic. It's gonna be awesome. We do look sick right now. But yeah, as time goes on with every single video, some videos I'll show more so of what I eat in a day, other videos I'll show more of actual training footage and more actual workout tips. And other videos will just be me talking and updating you guys. Whatever you guys wanna see more of is what I will do more of. So just let me know in the comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, it really helps with the algorithm a lot, focusing a lot more on YouTube. So I promise you guys, video every three or four days. This is so easy for me to record like this. So stay tuned, okay, stay tuned. Remember to follow the Instagram and TikTok, Case and Granger, if you don't already. Add me on Snapchat, Case and Granger, all three, they're the exact same, okay? Case and Granger, all three of them are the exact same username. Follow me on everything, I add everybody back on Snapchat as of currently. And uh, yeah, use your Case for Gorilla Mind, and eventually the clothing brand that I want. Okay, goodbye guys, love you all, thank you.